Hello and welcome. If you've stumbled across this video, chances are that you've seen my daily hangboard protocol video. Um, I've made two of them so far, and if you haven't, there will be links in the descriptions down below. Um, but essentially, it's a very lightweighted protocol that I've been doing for over two years now, intermittently. And the way that it works is um, essentially two times per day, I load my fingers submaximally, which means that it's a very light load. And in this video, it's just going to be a, essentially a follow along of that protocol uh, so that there'll be an extra resource for anybody wanting to try this themselves. There's no rule as to how many times per day you can do it as long as you have a six hour window between each session. But I would recommend most people to try it maybe once per day at first to make, make it manageable. Uh, I've definitely noticed great benefits from that as well. There's no, you know, like as long as you do something that's going to be better than doing nothing. But first, I want to mention Frictitious here, which is the doorway mount that I have, and they've also helped sponsor this video. The cool thing about this door mount is that you can basically apply it to any door that you have, and we live in a small apartment, so I don't want to mount a hangboard anywhere, and there's also not really any space to mount it. And so this door mount has been absolutely amazing for me to be able to include this protocol into my everyday routine. So there will be a special deal down in the description down below for Fictitious plus a hangboard. So you'll get 20% off any hangboard that they have if you get the door mount uh, combined with that. And it's a great way to support the channel as well as Garrett, the inventive mind behind Fictitious. So yeah, hit the link in the description down below, get one for yourself, come back to the video and we'll start hanging. But if you don't have the hangboard mount just yet, you can of course join in and do the protocol anyways. Now let's get started. I measure using a scale the weight to be around 40% of my maximum weight. There's going to be a clock down on the right. When it's grey it means that it is counting down and we're resting. We'll start off with the half crimp, so keeping your fingers at 90 degrees and all four fingers on. My pinky is often open handed because it is shorter than the others. When it's colorized we start hanging, so now it's 10 seconds on using the half crimped position. Now we're back to the great clock and so we rest for 20 seconds. Usually when I rest I try and work on my posture a little bit, standing up straight, waking up. I usually do this routine in the morning and so that is a great way to start the day. Preparing for the next set and off we go. We're doing six sets of the half crimp position, followed by six sets of the three finger drag, and then variations of these two grips with less fingers on the handboard. Three seconds to go, one, and we start hanging. The intensity doesn't change throughout, it's kept at 40% of the max weight that I could hang off the edge. And I think that is a good measurement for most people to use who's trying to replicate this protocol. We are now on the final repetition of the half crimp. And now we're back to resting and we'll be switching to the three finger drag. For the dragging positions in this video, I have chosen to do it at a 30 millimeter edge instead of the 20 millimeter edge, since I find this a little bit more comfortable. 
You can choose either or as you will, there's no right or wrong here, just make sure you're not pulling too hard. For this position, it's important to make sure that you're passively hanging on three fingers. We engage them on the board and then start passively hanging downwards. On set number three, we should still not be feeling any form of fatigue and we should be comfortable on the hangboard. If there is any fatigue or major discomfort, we're most likely pushing it a little bit too hard and should be decreasing the weight that we're pulling with. Generally, this protocol will just feel comfortable and make your fingers feel more healthy. Otherwise, you might be pushing it too hard. Repetition number four has begun. This is our final set of the three finger drag. After this one, we'll start using two fingers instead to try and isolate the tension a little bit more. For the first two finger hang, we'll be doing a open two finger drag. We'll be using the index finger and the middle finger for this at first. Now let's start hanging. We'll be doing two repetitions of each of these, so less repetitions, but more variations. Again, while we're resting, we can try and shape up our posture and stand straight, making sure our back is aligned and ready for the day. This is our final set of the front two finger drag. And now we rest for 20 seconds and prepare for the next set. In the next one, we'll be doing the same drag, but with the middle finger as well as the ring finger. So we're using our middle fingers for this next position. We start hanging now. Again, these are all executed at 40% of our max, and if you cannot gauge exactly what this is, which is usually generally a little bit more hard with the two finger positions, try and estimate and then do a little bit less than 40%. I would say an interval of between 30 and 50% is a good metric to shoot for. We are now done with the dragging positions and we'll be switching to a half crimped position with two fingers, starting off with our index and middle finger. We 
We'll rest for another 15 seconds and then do our second set of the two finger half crimp front two position. We are now done with the front two fingers and we'll finish off with the middle two fingers half crimped. So our middle finger and our ring finger will be engaged in a half crimped position, meaning they'll be at around 90 degrees and pulling with about 40% of what we could maximally hold this for. These are the final two reps, let's begin. This is our final repetition. Again, we hold it at around 40% and we'll be done for the session. Good job. You completed this task and you're amazing and I love you. See you later.